So if you're looking to buy best and affordable VPS server, or maybe you're migrating from one server to another, then this video is for you. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Akshay. I'm a senior software engineer and founder at the Tech Show Media. And I'm actually moving all my websites and my client websites from Namecheap shared hosting to the next best and affordable VPS server. This is gonna be a whole big journey and I'm gonna document all this process because it's not gonna be easier, there are a lot of challenges and with this video, you guys exactly know what to do next, how to do it. So definitely hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out any of the videos in the series. So in this video specifically, let's select the VPS server. I'll show you my points and challenges that I faced and what stuff I'm installing, how I'm planning to migrate so without further any ado, let's get started. So guys, this is my name cheap shared hosting server. So I'm actually using the Stellar Plus plan from last six years. I, I have three to four of my websites and three around three three to four clients websites. So the more than six websites probably with emails uh, and uh, the websites are like Node.js websites, WordPress websites and more. So what was happening is uh, it was all good, but as the traffic increases, uh, I'm hitting bottleneck. So as you can see right now, file usage says 94%. Now I actually launched a new website, we call it repurposeai.com. Uh, by the time this video goes on YouTube, it's gonna probably public. Right now it's exclusive available for the Tech Show Pro members. So if you haven't got a subscription yet, definitely you should try. Uh, basically, I couldn't host that website here because it's already 95% full uh, and not able to upload it. And even if I somehow upload it, okay, compressed it and just upload the build file, still I'm not able to run it because I'm running out of RAM that apart if i just say buy another server and move other websites there that should be fine but namecheap is now doing some shady things like all of a sudden uh, it made my ssl expire so uh, here you can see there's a namecheap ssl right they, all of a sudden they actually expired some of my websites ssl and then asking me to pay for it and they had done this multiple times but like now three to four websites like now in november i'm gonna renew and they have already expired four of the websites so each website SSL costs 1800 to 1900 rupees. That's more than the domain itself. Domain costs 1000 rupees and this is 1900 rupees, which is insane. And by the way, you could get free SSL uh, with the SSL encrypt. So why would you pay for it, right? And still, I could install it. I'm a developer, so I could install free SSL certificate. But uh, the access to the shared server is so limited. I just couldn't do anything. I couldn't access system files. I, I just can't do anything with the system, you know? Uh, so that's pathetic. So I thought it's high time to move. Uh, it's gonna be extremely difficult, but we're gonna do that. So first, uh, now you know why I move, why I'm moving, there's two particular reasons. One is uh, I run, I'm running exhaust of, uh, of the server space, uh, disk space particularly, and RAM. And the second one is shady techniques by Namecheap. It's, it's too much now. Uh, and right now they also increase the price. So by the way, when I bought it, uh, it was less. Now the Serap Plus is like $74 a year. So uh, I need to pay that much. So they increase the price all of a sudden. So probably by November, I need to pay this. So let's see how it goes. But nonetheless, I have two options. One, I move to the Serap business plan, which is $112 a year. Uh, that's around, I think, uh, 7,000 rupees. Let me just see 112 USD to INR. Uh, sorry, I didn't saw that. 112. It's 9,800. So I thought at this price, I could get a personal VPS server. I can get full access to it. I can have CI CD to it so that I can upload all my uh, DXJS and NextJS applications. The only effort is to move everything existing from this server to that server. By the way, this is the cPanel, uh, the popular cPanel, but you might not know that the cPanel is really expensive. It's 2000 rupees per month. You get free with the shared hosting because they only buy once and then sell it to 1000 people. Uh, but with shared hosting, there's always this bandwidth limiting issue, like you always run out. So, so my views are also increasing. So that is causing issues to uh, to the website performance. As well as, it's also that if Namecheap is getting more clients now, you automatically 
uh, gonna impact your website. So definitely it's a high time for me to move and I'm paying the same cost as a personal VPS server. Now, if you know, we have uh, partnered with a lot of hosting providers in the past. So I have actually tried them already. So it's gonna be really good that we could try their websites as well. So I actually, this is not a sponsored video, by the way, I actually bought of this whole VPS personally, like I bought the monthly subscription. I speak to them and got the best plan and we're gonna explore. So the first option that I have researched and highlighted is basically uh, Domain Racer. Uh, the it's an India based company and we have also a lot of videos uh, onto them. Uh, I actually got their end X4 uh, VPS server. Uh, this is 699 rupees a month, but with GST it's 849 rupees a month. So if I put the calculator right here, so that's 849 into 12, that's 10,188. Exactly what I was paying with Namecheap. It was around 10,000 only. So this is going to be you a solid option. It's an India-based company. And I already tried, tried uh, them in the past. We have videos on to that. They also partnered with multiple videos. So that she, that is for me was the first priority. Uh, and I got the index for like the, not the base variant, but the upper variant. Uh, it comes with three core processor, 3.2 gigahertz, four GB RAM, 100 GB SSD storage, a uh, one GBPS network speed, which is insane. Uh, at the specs, like why would you buy shared hosting server while well, I'm paying that much? So I just, it's the best, it's like the best rates in the industry for sure until now, because the next I'm going to explore you that even better rates. But so I bought this one um, and I will come on the installation part later, but I bought, I just bought this one, right? The next contender was also ones who reach out to us. Like I didn't know about this brand. They reach out to us uh, and I made a video on that. That's host BTS. And they only made one video with me, right? And they, they haven't paid for me any video and stuff like domain rates have even paid, but like they haven't paid anything like that. They just hang out. Uh, they just gave out to me a server. Now I bought the server because it's really good. Like I will tell you exactly why, because I got the $3.99 per month plan. Okay, that's uh, if I put the calculator here. So that's 3.99 into 12. That's uh, sorry, it's 3.99 into 12. That's $48. And if you ask Siri, like what is uh, for 40 USD to INR? <laughs> it's 4,200. That's half the price. Can you imagine? It's half the price. You get two core CPU instead of three core CPU here. Get the point, eh? just just listen to it. Three core processor, you get a two core processor, 4G RAM, same RAM, okay? 100 GB storage, you get a 40 GB storage. Again, half the storage, a one core less, but same RAM, but two terabyte of traffic. This is the important part. This is, you might not knowing this, even when I bought it. See on paper right now, it seems that uh, Domain Racer is the best when it comes to pricing because you have three core processor, four GB RAM, hundred GB NVMe, right? All good, I just bought it, okay? But host VDS is charging half of the money, providing two core CPU instead of three, same RAM and half the storage but at the half the price. So what if I go to the upper plan? That's 7.99. So this 3.99 is already great. It's, I could literally switch it now and still save half of the money or I could get a $7.99 plan. If I see that, if I just um, open the calculator, the 7.99 into 12 is $95, which is less than, uh, still less than what I will pay for name cheap 8300 so now the most affordable one is actually host videos and not domain racer this is a us based company so i was a little skeptical at first because this is a new new company and with all the us india chios uh, so initially i thought okay i'm going with domain racer uh, but with the, all the GST, like it was 6.99, like it's for 6.99, not 6.99, it was 6.99 a month, but then GST adds up, it's 8.99 per month. And at the same price, like even 2000 rupees less, 8,700 instead of 10,000, I get same two core CPU, one core less, double the RAM, 8 GB, and just 20 GB less than 100 GB NVMe storage, which is no brainer. Like these two plans, really tempting. Now why I'm saying this, like I actually bought this and I will show you 
uh, what I'm using for the, the C panel. So, so basically I'm not buying the original C panel, which you see with, uh, with Namecheap. Uh, the C panel is actually really expensive. It's 2000 per month per server. I'm not paying that much. So you have to choose free alternatives. Okay. You have cloud panel, which has very beautiful UI. Uh, it's free. Then you also have cyber panel, which is also India based company, by the way, they have a very beautiful interface, very good features. And by the way, this was recommended by Gemini. So I asked Gemini that I have Node.js websites. Uh, I have uh, WordPress websites. I want email and he recommended me this, right? So I installed us because earlier I was not knowing about this. I was all cloud planner. This Vesta CP as well. I've tried that as well. But for now, it's either cloud panel or it's cyber panel. Uh, this is two contenders that I'm trying now. Uh, we also bought, uh, we also asked Domain Racer to give us the, the server control panel. So in Domain Racer, everything happens on support target. So I need to raise support ticket that I need the control panel. Otherwise they won't give it to me. And here the shady part come because I mean, it's not exactly staged shady but they didn't mention that uh in the page right you can see this something called network okay and it says 41 percent used and i have just installed two websites right here just two websites with the email it's already 41 percent full and i asked them about that so it's all the network traffic that goes through the server so maybe i'm installing a new uh, library or maybe i'm transferring videos and photos to wordpress this is what gonna uh you know be charged for like not charged but count for right and this was the same issue with namecheap like when i bought the namecheap you see the disk usage the file usage that's basically the same thing how much files you're transferring to the system 95 percent full i bought domain racer 45 percent full already i'm not moved all my websites uh it's, it's less than a month these cd things really affects you like it affects your mental state because you're gonna transfer everything right here and then you realize like i was so only so long domain racer like okay indian based company make in india yes do it amazing brand and by the way the support is really good i really love the support you just text them they're gonna call you back right no mail no mail like name cheap they're gonna call you back right now and resolve your issue there and there itself so it's all good right but this this usage and again i can't blame them alone because the competitors are doing the same and that's how you bring the great pricing to your audience, right? But this means that I need to now, if I want to transfer all my websites, I need to actually go to the upper plan of the domain racer. That's X4. That's 1200 rupees per month. That changes the game completely because now if I open calculator, so that's 1299 plus GST. That's that's almost 1400 rupees, I guess. 1400 into 12, that's too much. 16,800. If I ask Siri, what is 16,800 for? Uh, it's INR to UST. That's 190. Mm, it's double the price. Uh, that's not what I would need to pay. So again, the only best option, the most affordable is host VPS. Not only that, there's more to this story. I bought the host VPS. It's all good. Uh, I got the 3.99 plan. I even tried the 7.99 plan. So I will mostly go with the 7.99. So I get 8 GB RAM here. I get two core CPU, one core less than Domain Racer, but I got four terabyte of traffic. Even the base plan is two terabytes. So that's that's what I wanted because now I'm already 45% full uh, with this. There I won't be. There, if I if I log into host VDS, uh, if I go to network, I think they will mention here, right here, uh, instances. And by the way, they have much better planner like the domain is using PHP. Uh, you can see traffic usage, it's just, 3 GB of uh, that's 200,000 GB. Uh, that's basically because uh, I'm on this plan, two terabyte plan. 2000 GB is two terabyte, right? And with this plan, you get 4000 GB. And uh, I have basically just two, three GB out of it, which is insane. So even the base plan, uh, I'm safe here because I have more traffic. The only thing, this is a new brand company. So what if they go bankrupt and then they die? They will for sure help you to migrate and stuff, but again, it's pain. But still, I'm going with this one because of uh, two main reasons. One is the traffic, network traffic. You get more here. Two is the pricing, really affordable pricing. I got double the specs for the same price, right? I don't want to pay less. Uh, even if I get the normal plan, it's double the RAM. Uh, uh, it's almost same storage, the 80 GB is 100, and it's one core CPU less. Um, and my tasks are normally RAM dependent, and they are not CPU dependent uh, when it comes to web hosting. So 
FND. This is way to go. Also, uh, this interface is really good. Uh, you have better controls here. Uh, like even if you want to uh, say format um, install the new Linux, you need to raise the ticket in no domain register. But here you could do it with just few clicks, uh, which is great. Also, the bandwidth here is this 10 gigabit. This is something that you can't get in India because just one Gbps. Our network infrastructure is really slow. Uh, so here you have 10 gigabits, more transfer speeds. Uh, again, ranking Google's will improve because the server is faster here. So I'm definitely sold on host videos as of now, uh, unless and until I installed uh, the cyber panel, the installed the cloud panel in it, and then I realized my mails are not working. The like cloud panel is great. So Cloud Panel can install my Node.js websites. I've already installed it here. Uh, okay, but they don't come with, uh, they don't bundle the email. So they ask you, if you read their docs, they ask you to uh, buy the, uh, not buy the, actually they install the MailCow, which is also a, a mail email based system. But MailCow runs on Docker uh, and it's it's very ram intensive so i just installed it in the the uh in the uh ho this um women racer and i'm already 75 percent memory full this is now how it goes so then i uh, in in host videos i installed cloud panel i was able to install roundcube the mail dynamism c panel but then mails were not going through that's that's all the things gonna happen because you're moving from managed hosting to unmanaged hosting these are the things you're going to face. If I go with the managed hosting, the life would be much simpler. And even the domain racer folks will help you out with that. Host videos don't offer that. They only have unmanaged hosting. Uh, but once they have the managed hosting, they could do that as well. But domain racer has managed hosting. It's 2000 for the cPanel and 900 for uh, additional 900 rupees per month for uh, the light speed server. So they will help you out. But again, it's a whole lot of money there. So this is not going to work out. Uh, then I asked Gemini yesterday and it recommended me cyber panel so it has git as well so sync that seems to be promising and the cpu usage is also less uh, still uh, the ui here is too much um, i don't know eye catching and uh, the css is stale when it uh, when it loads it's just weird cls that you see uh, this is a developer things because our website's a flagship website is really great uh, it's crisp it's clear you definitely try it out your texture.com uh, we do all this website development we do media services definitely check us out so as of now i'm still exploring uh, i need to choose between host videos and domain register and for sure it's host videos as we have explored through this video i just need to select between cloud panel plus email client or cyber panel by the way cyber panel actually i will show you on the screen showed me uh, the exact email issue that was the port was blocked with host videos that's because host videos has built in uh, firewall on it okay and that make things uh, difficult to install but it's a lot more secure and definitely you get in domain racer but you need to again ask for it and when you ask for it probably i think they will sell it i'm not sure if they will give you free, free firewall but you can install firewall always so that's not an issue but it's good that host videos is pre-configured firewall for you guys so that was a lot in this video to cover uh, but i will keep you updated okay guys so we have uh, almost two contestants now uh, one is host videos the other one is domain racer probably because of the domain racers uh, network cap or disk cap i'm mostly going with host videos so that was today's video goal and we have achieved it the next part is choosing the cpanel then comparing the speed then selecting the pricing which is another story for another day uh, but let's, I'm getting my workout done. I'm heading to the gym, completing my 10K steps. So we'll catch you in the next video. Stay subscribed uh, and like this video for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye now.